They've already downgraded it? Yes, they have. It's got three legal marijuana prescriptions that you can get for a doctor. I don't know what that is. I don't think that's right because I'm a medical marijuana patient and I can't get any medical marijuana. It's brand new. It's brand new. Well, yeah, they are. Come in the news. All right in there. Yeah, you can wonder in here. And it's for people who have um, MS or people who have um, seizures. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and then you have two for pain. So, yeah, they do have them. You oh. can get them. So, you're, this, so this doesn't affect medical marijuana? No, How? because this just affects all Schedule One drugs, uh -huh. which it makes them illegal. Like, like? Heroin, ecstasy, peyote, and marijuana, but marijuana is being downgraded anyway, so we're we're hopeful that that just gets downgraded all the way. I see, but so signing this, if marijuana is not, I thought it was already downgraded. Only the THC part of it. So still. So if I sign this and the federal government doesn't do that, this will take away medical marijuana. Well, we're for the medical marijuana, but but I'm just saying that the, the legality of that. I don't know if that's accurate. I know there's a lot of stuff on the, on the, you know, they're looking at that, but I just don't think that that's going to work. I think your thing is going to take medical marijuana and put them back on prescription pain, which is much more dangerous than they want. That's just my, I mean, I'm not here. No, that's, that's fine. I'm just going to try not to. I'm because I get asked this all the time, I can't even remember. Yeah. Because I just don't think it's been, I, I know there's a lot of stuff through Congress right now. They're marching in front of the White House to have it descheduled and downgraded. But I just don't know that that's taken place. Because I hate to see no, you out here no. petitioning to take away medical marijuana. No, that's my daughter has, my daughter has fibromyalgia, uh -huh. the CD stuff. Yeah. I, I got a on her, I had it, she's just a yeah. so I'm so hesitant. Well, yeah. the CDs don't have any people. Oh, it's good. Yeah. 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 I think they're being tested. Sativex, I've heard of that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I would check your facts on that because I know if somebody like me. I can't get a, I can't get a prescription at a pharmacy for marijuana. I know that for a fact. Well, let's see. Um, Marinol is FDA approved. It's for nausea. Why would we want to take it into a pharmaceutical form, anyways? Though, why not take the natural plant without the? Well, this isn't this isn't um, the what do they call them? Synthetic. This is synthetic. These are the ones they're not synthetic. No, no, they're not. And see, that's the thing. The synthetic stuff can cause problems. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, and I think you know what though? You go down and you talk to Joe Rogan and you know, do the dealer do this, whatever. And do they absolutely know without a doubt every single thing they get in there is healthy for you to take? It hasn't got, you know, like pesticides and stuff that you're aware of. They may not even tell you. They don't like legally have to. They just can do whatever they want. And what about the, the amount that they give you? I mean, if you're supposed to get like a percentage of like 50 milligrams of THC, which would kill you, but <laughs> THC is really bad if it's not with the cannabis. It causes depression and, and it's really bad. But if, if, they're, if you're supposed to get 50 milligrams or whatever, can they guarantee you're getting 50 milligrams with whatever it is? Because they don't want to be 